Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 16 of the Disguise 2 PCLP. Uh, so last episode we just started going to the Coliseum and I haven't really done anything uh, beside that. Um, haven't really uh, got anything else either. So yeah, I want to get these, but it costs a whole lot of money and I can't do them. Darn. Um, okay, so let's go in here. Battle Arena. Third battle. I remember the Geoblock one from last episode really held me up as a kid. Um. <laughs> you still haven't begged for mercy. What a fool. You don't even know how dangerous your next opponent is, Adele. Eh, I don't care who my next opponent is. I'm still gonna beat him. Oh, really? I've studied your weaknesses. Welcome to round three, your own personal hell. <laughs> I finally found you, Adele. Eleanor, what are you doing here? <sighs> Foolish child. Did you really think you could run from me? Adele, do you know this woman? I never heard the name Eleanor before. Who is she, Adele? Maybe she's his ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Adele, you sly devil. No, it's not like that. She's the reason I don't like girls. Oh, you might hurt my feelings. After all, you came to me. Stop trying to mislead everyone. I didn't have a choice. What kind of relationship was it? It sounds like you two were more than just friends. That's none of your business. Don't snap at me. I am a princess. You won't get away from me this time, Adele. As per the terms of our deal, your soul will belong to me. Not this time. I'm a lot stronger than I used to be. I'll make you pay for the scars on my face. Okay. So we learn that he does not like women because of that woman specifically. Ugh, god damn it. Just gotta love all the geo blocks. Oh, whatever. Just get everyone out onto the field. Try to avoid putting them on ones that are negative. And attack when possible. Uh, yeah, silence doesn't really matter. My guys are strong. Um, and warp. Okay, end turn. Wow, that leveled. I guess eventually, after killing a bunch of weak people, you will level eventually. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Um, attack you. Um, I don't really like evade as a thing. But gonna roll for that fifty. And who needs to be non silenced? Um just do it. Um and then where's Rosalind? Oh, there she is. Let's do that. Okay. Should oh wow. Hit. Good job. I'm happy. And that's the chapter. Or that's the map. <laughs> you have improved, Adele. I told you I'm a lot stronger. You can't beat me anymore. So it seems. But what about our deal? Didn't you want to know something? If you sell me your soul, I'll tell you anything you want to know. I don't even think about them anymore. Besides, selling my soul to a demon just isn't my style. Oh, that's too bad. If you change your mind, my offer still stands. Just visit your friend, Eleanor. Until then, I'll suspend the deal. Adele, 
You wanted to know something, so you tried to make a deal with her? I told you, it's none of your business. Hmm, fine then, be that way. I don't even care anymore. Knowing them now won't change anything. Yeah, so you can assume that he wished, or he was in cahoots with Eleanor, because it's like, oh, uh, I want I want to know who my parents are, and he got over it, and now he doesn't care. But, you know, of course, they're going to leave that up in the air until it's revealed, because I always have to assume that the audience is one of the dumbest people ever, forever, and ever. Of all time. Forever. They are our opponents for round four. I don't see Etna anywhere, but I know she must be watching closely. Hey, dude, I'm sure Master Etna told you already, but you gotta make this look good, dude. If they find out about the setup, you'll be disqualified, dude. Setup? What are you talking about? We're not planning to lose here. Dude! That wasn't the plan, dude! You thought I would let you win, knowing that you oppose my father? Imbecile! First of all, throwing a fight is betraying the trust of the modern sports gambler. Gambling fraud just isn't my style. <laughs> That's such, like, an involved sentence. <laughs> like... <laughs> That's so weird. Yeah, gambling fraud just isn't my style. Very specific thing. side that gets hurt by the ball, right? Seriously? Dude! It looks like you are just used to being on the losing side. It is so sad. The least I can do is let you die quickly. Let's go! I will say, I feel sorry for those pennies. Oh man, enemy boost times three. Holy crap, these pennies are actually daunting. Oh no. How could I ever hope to defeat them? <laughs> uh, I love the prennies. Because they're just so dumb. Like, I think they just have a great design as well. Because it's like, who doesn't like a penguin? So how about a how about a penguin that was a sinner? It's perfect. Nope. God damn it. Okay. Just let him come to me. Uh, I'm thinking for... Uh, I think I'll turn on enemy animations and whatnot uh, when uh, I fight against like more unique enemies. But for printies, I'll probably keep it off. Just for the time of... Just for the sake of time management uh, and all that. Um, can't tell. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, because I don't want... I don't want to spend so much time just watching, like, the same animations over and over again, if you can comprehend this, because for those of you that have played Disgaea, keeping the animations on just makes the game so much longer in an unnecessary way. Because you see it once, and you've seen it a million times, essentially, regardless of how cool it is. And that's just the thing. Like, you don't want to watch it over and over and over and over and over again, because there's no way to skip past it in these games. In... Oh yeah, I got 1,000 kills. Just got that achievement. Um... And that's why later uh, games expedite these things, where it's like, I want to keep animations on, but I want to be able to skip past the ones that I've seen. <laughs> Dude, it beats whatever Master Etna's plan. 
scanning for us, dude. Ah, you won again. You're almost dark hero material. Hmm. If we lose, it'll only make you happy. So we gotta win no matter what. <laughs> Today's competition is over. But tomorrow, you're gonna fight other groups that won all their fights too. So unless you want to embarrass yourself in front of everyone, you better run home crying now and forget about tomorrow. Thanks for the advice. But unlike you, we're gonna win our fights. Sass the shit out of Axel. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I am relieved that we have won all of our battles. At this rate, no one can stop us, princess. Mr. Stupid Head doesn't look happy at all. Oh, how'd you do? Did you get another win without having to fight? Hmm, friend? What's wrong with your voice? Did you catch a cold, Sam? You must leave the battle arena. What? We have a mission to accomplish. I won't allow you to interfere. What are you talking about? It is too early for you to be sleep talking. You, the one from the other day. It appears you didn't get enough back there. What was that? What are you talking about? Uh, you, the same evil pulse I felt 15 years ago. Hmm? Is there something wrong with me? You. Can... can you be the overlords? We don't know what your deal is, but if it's a fight you're looking for, I'll fight you. This is unexpected. I must retreat for now. What's wrong with her? Weird. It's six o'clock, and time for the news. Pop quiz! The mystery deepens when the Colosseum episode continues. This quiz is on the new character, Yukimaru. Normal Yukimaru is polite, then the other Yukimaru is rude. Why are there two? Yukimaru is really a pair of twins! Eh, that is incorrect. Sorry, although twins are in at the moment, that is not correct. Yukimaru has a split personality? Uh, that is also incorrect. Sorry! Now, if only there was a sexy stepmother or stepsister with a personality that loved me, hmm? Oh well, we will save the correct answer for next time. I must warn you, it isn't so great. So don't expect too much! Drunk Tink Mahalak! <laughs> My, I look away for two seconds and this is what happens. Why must you be so much trouble? We're back? Uh, are you serious? Uh, oh, huh, excuse me. <clears throat> we seem to be experiencing some technical difficulties. I would like to take a moment to apologize to all of our viewers for any foul language or obscene images that were broadcast. <laughs> uh, funny. All right, come on. We better go to bed early today so we'll be rested for tomorrow. Hmm, good idea. What's wrong? Are you still thinking about that Yukimaru kid? No, it is more important than that. Don't worry, I'll keep my promise no matter what. You will meet your father. Hmm, I won't be expecting much, but I do expect you to keep your word. Hey, Adele, do you know what's gonna happen when you get to meet Overlord Zenon? Hmm, well... Of course he knows! He's gonna fight him fair and square, and defeat him so that we can turn into humans. Y yeah, that's right. I was born a demon, but I wonder what I'd look like as a human. I bet I'd look sexy, huh? What do I do when I meet him? Guess I really won't know until it actually happens. Episode 7, Battle Tournament. Okay, and we're back. Oh, yo, what's up, Etna? You're looking massive. Oh. Okay. Hey! I thought we had a deal! Now my perfect plan is ruined! How am I supposed to kill Xenon now? So how are we gonna fix this? 
We never made a deal. You just said we had one and took off. Oh, really? Well, what happened to, it's only fair to keep every promise, or whatever you always say. Wow, how many different sentences did it take to hear all those words from me? Okay, okay, fine. But now I'm rooting for you guys. And then you can take me with you to see Overlord Zenon. Okay? Well, good luck! There she goes, making up her own promises again. Don't concern yourself with that. Our objectives have not changed. I guess you're right. Okay, tonight we'll have a good hearty dinner to build up our strength. Excellent. I am famished. I would love to have a nice bloody prime rib right now. Tomorrow, once we are victorious, I will finally get to meet my father. Oh, how I've waited so long for this day to come. I do not understand why my father still refuses to meet me. But I shall find out tomorrow when I see him. But what will happen to Taro and Hanako? What will happen to Adele? Father is the god of all overlords. Anyone who opposes him is executed. Surely they shall be seen as enemies. No. Maybe if I beg father, he will release his curse on the humans. Then there would be no reason to fight. Yes, that is the solution. Hmm. Such wishful thinking. To meet my father, we must win. But then they would die. What am I to do? Please, father, tell me. Who's out there? Yukimaru? The Snow Clan shall have its vengeance. What? Though my eyes see no light, my heart sees everything. I know who you are, daughter of the Overlord. Wh what Your death will surely bring him out. I'm sorry, but you have to die! You? How cowardly can you be? Do you always attack people in the dark? Adele! I didn't see you with the others, so I thought I'd better look for you. You went looking for me? Adele, how long were you listening? Huh? Did you hear me talking to myself? You shouldn't be worrying about that right now. But if it makes you feel better, I didn't hear anything. Is that so? Great. More interlopers! I won't allow you to interfere with my vengeance! If you won't back down, I shall take all of your lives! Now! Okay. Okay, so we got evade, no lifting, disperse damage. Okay. That's not bad. Bit annoying, but not bad. Okay. Okay. Always gotta roll for that 50. See, the thing is, I don't have to worry about disperse damage when fighting uh, Yukimaru simply because, um, definitely not gonna hit me, really. I honestly should just give Gig more shoes. Because the way it is, okay, there you go. The way it is, like he probably has enough damage that having me able to move have more. Great skill to withstand my deadly arts. Why do you wish to take my life? What do I have to do with your clan? Next time, I will have my vengeance. Be prepared. What is up with her? Oh, I slept well! Yay! Today's the final battle! Calm down, Hanako.
Monaco. We must win two more times before we can get to the final battle. Huh? You don't think we can make it, Razi? Th that's not what I meant. No matter what, I have to win to see my father. That's right. We have to win no matter what. Huh? Adele, you don't think we can win? Why do you keep thinking that? I was just trying to plan how to defeat Xenon once we've won. Oh, so you both think we'll lose? Let's just go. Round five should be starting soon. Okay. So, let's... Actually, I think I might actually just have shoes I could put on him. Or more shoes. Yeah, because that just gives him some HP. And that just gives him SP and resist. But I'm not too worried about that. With him. So let's do that. Honestly, I could just put that on him, but... Um... Shoes... Any shoes? No. Okay. Yeah, whatever. He has a little bit more movement now. Or movement now, so that's good. Okay, so we're still in Battle Arena, but we're going to the fifth battle. Hello, Axel. Welcome to the final day of the Battle Arena! Who will be victorious? Luckily for the contestants, I, the Dark Hero, am the MC and referee. Otherwise, I would be winning this competition. How can he be so energetic this early in the morning? He must be expecting to be on TV, but I doubt they will put him on. Allow me to introduce your opponents for round five. These champions of justice come all the way from the Milky Way galaxy. When the darkness of evil is on the rise? We crash the villainous party! Our seven lights spring to the task. To save the world with courage and hope! With our powers combined, we are... The Prism Rangers! Deb. Cool! Tarno, how can you say that? What about them is cool? They haven't even combined their power. We have to fight them? Is this a joke? Indeed. They are called the Prism Rangers, yet they do not even have all seven colors of refracted light. Okay, that's not what I meant, but hey. Red! There's a child among the group of demons! No, don't be fooled by that childlike form. Those are demons, all right. Don't you remember our last battle against demons? We can't let our guard down, even if they look like women or children. I believe that's referencing this guy at one. Hey, you! How can you call yourselves Prism Rangers when you only have five colors? Uh, hey, don't get too close to them. <laughs> don't, don't come any closer! Hmm? Was that an attack? Red! The power of justice! It, it has no effect! D don't panic! Injustice always leads to victory! Adele, what should we do? Can I kill him yet? It doesn't feel right, but we have no choice. We have to fight them to win. Sorry about this. Hmm. Never pitied an opponent so much before. There's no way the Prism Rangers can lose to demons on some backwoods country planet. Here we go, guys. It's Prism time. <laughs> okay. Time to beat the shit out of some Power Rangers. Okay. Um, can I hit you? No. Oh, well. You'll be there for next time. Oh, hello there. I'm not gonna put someone on you. Because I don't feel like taking 20% damage. Ah, perfect. Yeah, now you can move more. Whoa. Come on! 
run. Uh, I love the voice acting that they get for the Prism Rangers, just because they always have one doof. It's always that, oh, bro, man. Dude, I'm totally a Prism Ranger, bro. Like, you don't even understand how justice I am. Yeah, chloroform. This killing isn't really my style, you know? <coughs> to have a demon take pity on me. That's the greatest disgrace to a champion of justice. Don't worry about it. I'm a human. Stop lying! The demon detector in my suit is telling me that you're a demon. It must be broken. There's no way Adele is a demon. Yeah. Overlord Zenod's curse didn't work on Adele. He's the only one who isn't a demon. There you go. Now get out of here before other demons show up to kill you. Damn it. You haven't seen the last of us. We'll get new rangers. We'll get two more colors to complete the true Prism Ranger team. Fools. You better find two more rangers before you call yourselves the Prism Rangers again. Ah, princess, way to find yourself obsessed over a minor detail, huh? I am glad it is with something as important as color scheme. I do like how Rosalind's like, that's not the Prism. You're... So, we meet again. Was the magic flute helpful to you? Uh, oh, yeah, it was. But what are you doing here? I am a servant of Overlord Xenon. It should not be unusual for me to be here. Father! Is my father here? You shall find out if you win, Princess. But I did not foresee you entering the battle arena. I am sure Overlord Xenon will be quite surprised. W wait Can you please not tell him I am here? If he discovers I am fighting, my father might avoid meeting me. Please! I understand. I shall do as you wish. That's pretty strange. She's Zenon's servant, but she's so nice. Overlord Zenon employs pure demons such as me, as well as altered humans. If she was once a human, she may still have a shred of conscience left. After all, the Overlord doesn't strip away a human's entire conscience. I see. So, she might just be another victim. It is interesting that they, they define the humans as like losing conscience but nothing like demons have a conscience too like they can develop a conscience like Rosalind Oz obviously has a conscience but she is a pure demon like of, a, of the highest caliber like I, d I don't understand how conscience comes into the fact that I understand like the idea is demons are good demons are like ones that commit atrocities and evils but I feel like because you can develop a conscience as a demon, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but whatever. Okay, I'm going to end the episode here because we're almost at 30 minutes. So I hope you all have a very nice day and will join me next time. Bye. Bye.